Having a home inspection done on a pre-owned home and even a new one that you're considering buying can help you avoid unanticipated and costly repairs. So, what does a standard home inspection cover and what's not included in them? Joining me this midday is Randy Hutchinson from the Mid-South Better Business Bureau. Thanks for coming in. We yeah, appreciate hi. it. This is a, a good topic here. You know, a lot of people think if they have a new home, there's not much that they're going to have to get looked yeah. at. But specifically an older home, you want to make sure somebody yeah. goes through and fine tooth comb. Yeah, it's certainly a good idea on a pre-owned home. And good, yeah, a lot of experts recommend even a new one. You don't know whether the builder might have missed something or right. done something wrong. But it is important to know what's covered, not covered. Generally, what is covered in a standard home inspection is a heating and air conditioning, interior plumbing, electrical, the roof, the attic, uh, insulation, the, the walls, the, the doors, the ceilings, the floors, foundation, and the basement. Mm -hmm. What is not covered, uh, generally, uh, security and irrigation systems, appliances for the most part not covered, uh, chimney flues, swimming pools, solar heating, equipment, you can probably pay an extra fee to have those things covered. Right. Uh, if you have any concerns about the structure, the real, found, real foundation structure of the house, uh, you might want to consider having a building engineer or uh, an architect look at it, or the home inspector may be qualified to do that. And they generally cost an inspection 300 to $1,000, depending on the location, the size of the home, and the extent of the inspection. Now, these are huge investments that people are making yep. when they're buying yep. a property. So how do you pick the right inspector, and how do you make sure that you're not falling prey to some sort of scam? Well, let, me, let me give you an example of uh, a, a case that uh, uh, the consumer's checkbook uh, looked into. They actually decided to test. Uh, they're a nonprofit rate system. They decided to test inspection services. They hired 12 inspectors independently, didn't know what they, what the others were looking at also, uh, to look at a home that had an identified 28 problems that Consumer's Checkbook said. An inspector ought to find these. They concluded that as a group they didn't do a very good job and collectively mm -hmm. They only identified about half of the problem. So, and they were licensed inspectors. Right. So, what are they on the hook for? If something right. goes awry right after yeah. you purchase a home and you were told that it was perfectly fine, the foundation was sound? For the most part, uh, inspectors are not going to be on the hook, particularly for something that, again, wasn't covered in the contract. Good idea to read the contract, what they're going to cover. Uh, you know, some of them have insurance. I don't know exactly when that would come in and when it would. No, we get complaints from people, uh, not all the time, but we certainly get complaints from people who ran into that problem, got mm -hmm. a clean report, bought the house, later had a problem. So at least you want to check them out, be sure that they're properly licensed, be sure they've got a good record with the Better Business Bureau. We can provide a list of Better Business Bureau accredited home inspectors. Uh, understand the scope and the limitations of the inspection. Good idea to be present. It, it may be a right. three, four, five hour deal, but then you'll see firsthand the issues that they find. Uh, read the report carefully. And of course, one of the values of a home inspection, particularly when you're buying a pre-owned home, is you may be able to negotiate with the seller to cover some of the costs. Absolutely. That's so. the key there. Yeah. All yeah. right, Randy, thanks so much for coming in. We appreciate right. it.